coming into this video, I know... The biggest upstart in the shonen scene deserves a featured fight on the list. While people have been raving over THE Gojo fight for an extended period of time, I think that the fight against Mahito doesn't get enough credit. It didn't blow the internet up like Gojo's fight did, but I would say that this fight can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that one, and as a finale to the first part of Jujutsu Kaisen, I think he did a damn good job. The previous fight shows us the first major display of Nanami's abilities when he takes on Mahito in a chaotic fight that gets interrupted. He does get to show off his time-based abilities, and you've got to wonder what can top that. Well, it turns out it's having the main character join the fray in a fight that Mahito still looks to be in control of, despite the number's disadvantage. Throwing some god-tier animation and very creative powers, and it comes as no surprise how Jujutsu Kaisen has quickly risen to the top of the shonen anime rankings. It's an amazing finish too, with Yuji powering his way into domain expansion, saving his mentor and finishing the battle with a decisive victory. <laughs> ひだり死ぬ。負ける。
Now, let's take a look at Jin versus Ilpio, a fight that does its job in encapsulating the craziness that goes on in God of High School. It's a battle of the gods, quite literally, in this showdown that features a lot of grappling, striking, transformations, and two fighters just throwing whatever supernatural god powers they have at each other. It's a decently long fight that has some cool stuff in it, but honestly speaking, I'm more surprised that the ring remained intact after all of that. The story for God of High School might not be too accurate of an adaptation of the webtoon, but the animation is something Something to live for. This, my friends, is anime in 2020. Is it the best fight in the series? Well, not for me. I mean, it's in the second volume of the list, not the first. But, damn, it's an awesome fight.